Hello, my sisters and brothers in Christ, as we continue in this faith journey, you know, and we get back to the basics, sometimes when we walk around the church, we'll see things that might kind of stand out, and, and, and something that um, has been coming up is, you know, Father Joe, we've, we've noticed that we've seen some, like, signs, or symbols, or initials, or, like, Roman numerals, numerals and there's, there's certain kind of meaning behind uh, each and every one of them. Sometimes when we look at the cross, we'll see um, at the very top, we see the letters I-N-R-I. Not on every crucifix, but on most crucifixes, we'll see that. And, and so the question is, where does that come from? We go to the scriptures in John's Gospel. Um, at the time of the crucifixion, when Jesus was put on the cross, remember that they put the sign above his head. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, the King of the Jews, right? So, well, what does I-N-R-I stand for? If you can remember, right, sometimes it was written, it was written in three different languages. It was written in, in, in Hebrew, it was written in Latin, and it was written in Greek. So the I-N-R-I would be from the Latin. The I would be Jesus, right? That's how, that, that's how the letter would be. The J would be had written with like the I. N would be the Nazarene. And the R would be for Rex, which means the king. And Euterium is, is, or the Jews, um, again, J in Jesus and the J in Jews. Um, that's how people would recognize that. So if you ever see that at home, you see that in a church, you see it here in, in the crucifixes we have here, and like, what does that mean? I-N-R-I, just a reminder. Jesus, the Nazarene, the king of the Jews. Jesus, the Nazarene, Rex of the Jews, like R R E X, like Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king, the biggest. And um, and so so that's one of those things like, hmm, I wonder what that is. I-N-R-I, Jesus Christ, King of the Jews. God bless you.